Hey guys, it's Jess. Welcome back to my channel for another video. So today I'm back at a Rose's house. We are gonna start planting up some of her beds today. So I'm so excited. I have already dug up a bunch of the Wygelas from my property, brought them to her house. You can see a couple of them sitting out behind me. So I'm so excited to get them in the ground. Let's get to work. so we are back at the front of her property as you guys remember in the last video we did lay down a bunch of cardboard to start killing off the grass as you can see it's been doing its job she did come in and remove all the cardboard just because we had a lot of wind and it was blowing all over the place so we will come back and lay that down again today but I did go ahead and dig up my beehive holly transplanted it here on the corner I'll have another one going on the other side to mirror but today we are going to be installing her hose box she's actually taking my old hose box and then I also dug up two of my abelias out of my barberry bread and transplanted them here I think last week or the week before I can't even remember now but they are doing great they definitely need to be trimmed so we will do that but we are going to be transplanting the Wajilas today so I have dug up four here are two there's two in my car and two in hers we're going to be planting these today and also mulching the bed so I'm so excited let's get to work so unfortunately I forgot my tripod today so this is what we're working with I've got my little camera sitting on the hose box for now hoping this angle works for y'all so as I mentioned in the first video I am going to be planting four Wajilas in between each one of her grates along this wall so I think the first one will go right about here I'm gonna go ahead and dig the hole Okay y'all, so we got all the holes dug. So one is going here, dead center between the grates. We have another hole here, one here, and then the last one will be going here. So let's move them into place. I'm gonna toss in some Biotone starter fertilizer to give them a good start. And then because that's a smaller hole, I'm gonna put the one with the smallest root ball in first. Make sure I tuck in all the roots. Oh, hold on. Creeping Charlie. Trash. We have to put that in trash. I'm not bringing any of those weeds to her house. Right. Make sure that's center. Oh, it looks so cute. I love it. Okay, garden soil. Make sure I really cover these roots because they've been sitting there for about four hours now. All right, so I'm gonna let that sit. We're gonna water it in, let the dirt settle, and then we'll come back and top it off. And we're gonna repeat that three more times. All right, so we got all four of the Wygillas planted and watered in, and they will look so pretty, you guys. I do still need to come in and trim and shape her two abelias. So I'm thinking that we probably need something evergreen to go in the center and on the ends to anchor the bed. But what we're gonna work on now is putting down the rest of her cardboard, covering it with mulch, and I will be back next week for more planting.
they need to be fixed all right you guys the sun has moved around to this side of the house now this side of the house does get full afternoon sun so all of these plants will be nice and happy we did get all four of the wygelas planted their space perfectly dead on center in between each grate and i think they're going to fill in perfectly i did give them a nice haircut before we transplanted them so i cannot wait to see them fill in they're already starting to set buds so i will definitely give you guys updates when they're in full bloom we also are getting ready to head to lowe's to get some trimmers to trim up the abelias because they're really messing with my vision right now they need some shaping they have not been cut on since last spring they're also super wilted because they have not been watered so we gave them a good soak we also went to the garden center today and picked up this gorgeous yuki cherry blossom adutsia which i think is so amazing it's not going to stay in this location just because that one only gets about one to two feet tall and wide so that's almost full grown but i just placed it here because when i step back i think this bed is lacking some green interest so we have a spot on the end spot in the dead center and a spot on the other end which i'm thinking i want to come in with something that is green foliage and flowering i think it'll be really really pretty we also need some evergreen interest the bilias do hold their leaves throughout the winter but the wygelas will drop their leaves so we need something green that she can look at throughout the winter time so that will be up and coming we actually are getting ready to head over to lowe's now to go get some trimmers so that i can shape these i will be back next week with some more updates with under planting with some gorgeous perennials and then also edging this bed so yeah, y'all, that is pretty much going to wrap up today's video. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed seeing the update so far. If you did, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe to follow along, and I will catch you in the next one. Peace.